Y'all, what is up? What is up? UFC 140 kicks off December the 10th at the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. The main event of the evening, Johnny Bones Jones vs. Leo Toda Dragon Machida. Now, John Jersey is 14-1. and one. He recently submitted Quinton Rampage, Jackson Rhea, Naked, Choke. Yes, he choked him out in the fourth round. Uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson is tough, man. He's one tough son of a bitch to submit. Now, John Jones, he's very elusive. He's unorthodox. He's got tall. He's tall. He's got his long limbs. He's going to use his reach, his distance to advantage to kick Machida's ass. And he's got good Greco Roman wrestling. He's got all these different types of kicks front kicks, you know, to the shin, I don't know, to the head, he's got head kicks, spinning back fist, he's got all of these tools, man, he's very creative, and he's got good submission, he can do whatever he wants to Machida, I think he needs to use his reach to our advantage, the question is, will Jan Jones be able to predict Leo to Machida's unorthodox skills, now, Leo Machida is 17 in 2, he recently knocked out Randy Couture via crane kick. Now, Machida's unpredictable. He's elusive. He's got this karate style. He can go in and go out without getting hurt. You know, he comes in with a left, left straight punch and then he leg kicks them, knees them. I don't know. He's got crazy, man. He's crazy. Unpredictable, man. And he trains with Anis and Silva, so he should be able to predict John Jones because they fight kind of similar. Now, I want Machida to win, but I think John Jones, he's a little bit better. I think John Jones, he can submit him. I think he might submit him, but I don't like John Jones' cocky ass. I want Machida to win this, but I think John Jones will take this. Our next fight is Noguera, Big Nog versus Frank Mir. Now, Frank Mir, I think he's more well-rounded. He's improved on his boxing and his kickboxing skills. And he recently beat Ray Nelson. And these guys are both dangerous on the floor. I think they both cancel each other out. But recently, Noguera has um, come off a big win over Brenda Schaub. He knocked him out, KO'd him with the overhand right. And they both have good powers, man. Good powers in their hands, you know. But I think Frank Mayer will take this one, man. I think Mark Frank May will take this. I think KO. First round. Yeah. Next fight is Tito Ortiz versus Noguera. Little Nug. Don't get confused with a big Nug. They're twins. Alright. Now, Tito Ortiz. He recently lost against Rashad Evans. He put on a good fight. Um, he caught him in a guillotine, but he didn't finish it. Rashad. Yeah, he got out. And, um. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, he caught Ryan Bader, man. He caught Ryan Bader with a guillotine. Everyone thought he was gonna lose, but Tito Ortiz caught him with a right hand, and Ryan Bader tried to double leg him, and then Tito just guillotined the shit out of him, man. It looked like he was trying to rip his neck off. Now, little Nog, he's got two losses against Phil. Nah, he's got two losses recently against Phil Davis and Ryan Bader. He's got to get out of this position. Yeah, I mean, he's good, man. He's got good takedown defense. He's got good stand-up, good boxing, like his big brother. I think, ah, man, I want Tito to win this. I want him to win this, but I think Noguera, Noguera might knock him out, man. Yeah, I think Noguera might knock him out, but I want Tito to win this. Now, Tio Ortiz is no longer called the Huntington Beach Bad Boy. He's called the People's Champion. Now, next fight is Claude Patrick versus Brian Eversol. Now, Claude Patrick is a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Most of his wins are by submission. I mean, this is going to be a good fight, man. Brian Eversol is an NCAA Division I wrestler. He's got good kickboxing and he's got unorthodox. He's got these crazy kicks, man. I think Brian Eversol will take this, man. Decision. Next fight, Mark Hominick versus... This is Chung Chan Sung. Chung Chan Sung. Now, he was in the movie, The End of the Dragon. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, Mark Hominick. He recently lost against Joel Alzado. 
He put up a good fight, man. He had this big hematoma on his head. But I think he's good, man. He went up five rounds with a champion. He's pound for pound, one of the best in the world. Top five. And um, Chan... What's his Chong Chan Chan? He submitted Lennon Garcia. And he's a black belt in Twai Kan Do. I think Mark Hominick would take this one, man. Be a decision. And that's my UFC 140 predictions. I'll see you guys at UFC 141. Alistair Overeem versus Brock Lesnar. This is going to be a motherfucking fight. December the 30th, guys. Don't miss it. I'll see you guys then. Peace.